Today is Tuesday, June 28th, 2011, at 6.19 p.m. Okay, so last week I had a game, um, and then the next day on Thursday I had uh, another game. It was a, I was at 280.4, um, and so I had a lot of things that weekend. It was my best friend's wedding, and um, so I was like, Whatever happens, happens, and I'm just not going to step on the scale. Um, so today, um, I'm doing this video a day early because tomorrow is my foot surgery and I probably won't have time to upload or anything like that. Um, so today, I stepped on the scale and it was 275.0. So that was a, from last week, it was a 4.8 pound loss, and total is, loss is 30.6 pounds. So I am ecstatic. I didn't meet my goal probably on Saturday, you know, that was my initial timeline, I guess, my deadline. Um, but it's okay. A couple days later is totally fine. As long as I meet that goal, right? And I keep on going. Um, and last week I was so, you know, crazed about it. I mean, I'm always crazed about the weight. It's just, uh, I don't know. I'm crazy. Um, and then a couple of you were saying, oh, you know, you trans you're transitioning. I'm like, oh yeah, I am transitioning to food. What am I thinking? Um, so that made me feel so much better. Um, I have a question though. How much sodium is okay? Like, how much sodium are you supposed to have during the day? Um, so on Friday was the rehearsal dinner. And I was doing great during the day. I had a protein shake. Um, then what else did I have? I had um, chicken salad, I think. I don't know. But for the rehearsal dinner, they had um, like a cheese platter with crackers and stuff. And I had some of the cheese. And um, then they had an open bar. But I don't like wine and I can't have beer or soda. So I didn't have any of that. And... Um, then for dinner they served us this really 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 bad chicken it was i don't know i was at the bridesmaids table but the guys seemed to like it at the the guys from tennessee um the groomsmen and their girlfriends seemed to, i don't know i don't know maybe none of us at our table well, we're all from texas maybe we like our things seasoned differently, but I felt like I had no salt whatsoever. Then it was breaded, so I was like kind of like struggling trying to like get the breaded stuff off of there. I didn't. I was not successful, and I just made a mess. And then I was like, okay, who wants my food? And of course, all my friends are not now claiming my food, like before I even finish. Like, um, so whenever you're done with that, I'm going to have your chicken and I'm going to have your pasta and I'm going to have your green beans, okay? And so it was all sent away. Um, and at the wedding, too, um, the wedding, we had this Cajun pasta. I just had the chicken on the pasta, and that was good. And if... I would have allowed myself, I probably could have finished the pasta too. Um, but I was like, no, no, no. And then we had, uh, what else did we have? There was cupcakes, I didn't have any. But what we did have, um, was me and my friend, another bridesmaid, um, she stayed over at my house because she's, um, she's from Nacogdoches, it's like, further up in Texas, um, anyway, she stayed at my house that, the night before, after the rehearsal dinner, and she was like, let's make some shots for tomorrow, and 
I mean, like I said, we're, we, we still have, like, this college state of mind, um, yeah, <laughs> and so we, um, we made jello shots, two batches of jello, and then we made sugar-free jello, <laughs> and then we made another batch of these things called pudding shots. And, um, it was sugar-free pudding, too, because <laughs> that's all I had at home. And then, um, I used to bartend, so I have a crap load of liquor in the house. Um, so yeah, we made all of that. And the pudding shots, that's what I thought was going to get me. Um, because, um, we were supposed to fold in, um, whipped cream. But we didn't have whipped cream or Cool Whip or whatever the hell it's called. So instead of that, we started looking through the pantry, and I was like, "Well, let's mix in this um, cake icing." And we mixed in half of that in there, and it made it taste way better. And I probably had like six of those. Um, and then later, at, well, at the wedding, there was also lemon drops, um, blue Hawaiians, because the colors were blue and yellow, so those were the two colors, and then also there was punch, and people were, like, serving me vodka with the punch, and needless to say, I was gone, <laughs> um, but it was, I had so much fun, I had so much fun, it was really fun, of course. And I was like, oh man, this is totally going to get me. But when does your best friend get married? Like, how many times? I hope only once. And yeah, I had tons of fun. Today in the morning was um, my surgeon's visit. Uh, my one month post-op. And um, I got my surgery done at True Results Houston. And um, the way it works there is, um, I think, four surgeons do surgery there, um, but they do surgeries, like, all around the city, and, um, once your one month is up, you, they're, they release you to true results, so you never see your, sur I mean, you may see your surgeon, but you don't see him for a consult or anything like that, and I wish I could have you know, done more research, and maybe I was kind of like a ra made, like made a rash decision as to like, oh, you know, I want to get this done now. Let's do this, and I didn't really do much research, right? And um, for some reason, I thought that he would do my aftercare, but no, true true results does your aftercare. Um, and I wish I, you know, I wish I would have known that so that I could have, like, a one-to-one -one relationship with my surgeon. Um, so now I don't know who's going to be taking care of me, you know? Who am I supposed to talk to? Who, I don't know. Um, so me and him talked, and he talked more about nutrition because he's, like, always talking about nutrition. But he never, like, does specific things, like, you're supposed to have this much of protein. He, j he just always says, low carbs, low carbs, low carbs. Anyway, um, he was asking me, so do you feel the effects of the band? And I was like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I don't have any restriction, right? I mean, and then he goes, okay, so when you're eating what you have portioned out, could you keep going? Could you keep eating? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I could keep eating. <laughs> if I don't stop myself, I could keep eating. And he's like, okay, well, you need an adjustment. And then he says, um, you need to call true results. And I was like, oh, man, because tomorrow's my foot surgery. Um, I don't know when I will be able to get a fill. Um, and for some reason I thought that he could do fills at his office because, I mean, he has a whole staff there. And I think that if you go specifically to his office, 
he would probably do your aftercare, but since I went through two results, um, they will have to do my aftercare, which is kind of bums me out, but I don't know how the process will go from now. I just know that true results, everything goes It's 6.30. Everything is so slow, and you, they, they give you an appointment, say, if your appointment is at 10, you don't get seen until 12 or 1, and it's just frustrating, and you can't, like, take out a whole chunk of your day just because they're running behind schedule. But yeah, 4.8 pound loss is awesome. Um, and tomorrow's my foot surgery, and we'll see how everything goes.